I sometimes get asked about uh, how to come up with an idea. So people are really keen to uh, see what it's like to work for themselves. They, they want to be the, their own boss, uh, but they're not quite sure on what it is they should be doing. And so there are a few things that I'd suggest to people here. Uh, when I was thinking about what it, what it was that I wanted to do, I think I was true, it was very fortunate because I really love what I do. I love working in marketing and advertising and seeing the intersection of technology with that and then also seeing how we can use that to try and improve the lives of our customers. That's something I'm deeply passionate about and actually I did think about uh, doing a whole range of other businesses but eventually I came back to that. Now that process, what I went through to do to get to that point was I actually for about eight to ten years kept a notebook on me at all times and in this notebook uh, as I was living in different countries or working across different countries I was always writing down different ideas about things that I saw. So for instance, if I was traveling to Japan and I saw something really interesting there that was a, a business concept or a product concept that I hadn't seen in another market in Asia or back in Australia or New Zealand, then I would think, okay, how can I apply that into another market? So that was one way. I just wrote down lots and lots of different ideas that could then potentially be used as business ideas later. Uh, what I found then was that over a period of time, you're writing down lots and lots of ideas, uh, then you will find that the ones that resonate with you are the ones that kind of come back to you. And then also having everything written down in these notebooks over a period of time is super helpful because it means that you're gonna forget things, but you can actually flick back through and see all of the different ideas that you've, that you've developed or been exposed to a scene over time. Uh, as you continue to do that, you'll, you will then start figuring out, okay, well, what do I actually really care about? What, do, what am I passionate about? What is it that's really interesting me? You can start looking back and thinking, oh, okay, I saw this interesting product, but actually it's not really in a field that I can see myself working in full time. Because that's the other thing that I always say to people as they're starting to think about starting their own business is make sure you do something that you really do care about because uh, there are definitely ups and downs on the entrepreneurial journey and sometimes when you have some dark days because things are just really, uh, really tough and there's a lot of pressure on you, you want to make sure that you actually really have the passion and the commitment to be able to come in and uh, uh, come into the office and inspire the team because of course as the business leader that is absolutely your responsibility. So yeah, as, as you're starting to think about what it is you should be doing, definitely just start keeping some notebooks, write down ideas, flick through magazines, see things on TV, as you're talking to people, whatever, um, write all of this down and keep it and then uh, you will continue to be able to refine what it is uh, you're gonna be interested in and we'll talk about this in some other videos later as well.